And this is good enough for what it's for. What's gonna get used for it? I like, like the way you think. You like the way I think. I like the way you think. Yeah, look at that. Can't even okay. tell it was broken. Welcome back to Redneck Engineering 2.0. No, kidding. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a kind of a funny video, but uh, also very serious. <laughs> I can't even be serious about it. But this trailer was actually purchased by Dad off of the auction, and he needs it to move like all his little equipment and stuff. It looks like it got hit right here. I'm guessing uh, sideswipe, maybe. Possibly probably hit like a concrete pole or something. As you guys can see, it's just a little bit out of square. So uh, Pops is prepping right now for a little bit of pulling. We've got it strapped down. Uh, we're gonna get this thing pulled out. Get it all straightened out. Oh, oh man, that's the wrong. We need to weld a nut to that one. As we pull, we have to guide each one of these boards into the slot because we cannot, we cannot remove these boards. The boards cannot be removed. So we can't get this bowl out because it's stripped out and the best way to do it is simply by just welding a nut to it like this. Look at that, I created a bolt. Well, so you have 20, 30 to ride. Look at that. That's how the pros do it. So this is a uh, T69. It's, uh, you can use it anywhere. Uh, you know, trailers, rear ends, uh, front ends, top ends, bottom ends, all types of ends, any end you want. Trust me, bro. It, this is good enough for what it's for. What's gonna get used for it? I like the way you think. You like the way I think. I like the way you think. I got my mind right. What? You hear, you hear me? But what it's gonna get used for? Yeah. Hey man, you better put some brand new tiles in this joint, some lights, and be happy. That's right. Dead on that. Mike, knows, Mike knows the game. He's been on the grid a long time. I got you a buggy outside that you, you'll be, you can, it'll be good for the shop. You can put stuff on there and push it. You need to clean that wheel up right here. Here, white trash, white trash magic. Do it up. White trash magic. Do it up. What? Measure the square on this thing. Got to make sure it's perfect. You know, got to put that diamond on it. Yeah, 14 feet approximately. Nine and a half inches. So we got, we're out. We're, we're about four inches out. 
Now, what I what I, I think is is, is shifted diagonally, Dad, this way. All right, so so I may have I may have hit it with a hammer and may have did some damage, but that's okay. I've got to grind it down. I've grinded it out a little bit, and we've got a nice little space for a nice fat weld. She's good to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost it off. I'm gonna boost it off. You guys are gonna see this thing on Facebook Marketplace. Never been used, never been abused. Grandma only parked her flower bushes on it. Look at that. Call me a panel beater. I think B-Tunes actually gonna put these same kind of fenders on his Mustang. He is, yeah. He's putting the same exact type of fenders on his Mustang and uh, I don't know how I feel about it, but it's V-tuned. What can you say? You can't say nothing to the man. He's just a beast. Let me fix that light a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Can't even okay. tell it was broken. He cut this out right here to get more airflow to the brakes. That's that's right, because the know? brakes heat up. Yeah, these, these have the big uh, six pot Brembo's on them and uh, you need a lot of airflow to cool them down. Uh, we're probably gonna cut the other side as well and you know just to make everything match and get even cooling because you don't want to have one side cooling more than the other side hey man hey hey come on through big man why y'all been coming i can't wait for y'all to call me to give you uh, the address next month oh okay it's next month yeah what's going on what's up man what's up how you doing, boss? Come on in. Come on in. I got the door. I got the door. I got y'all. You get in. I got y'all today. I'm up there laughing on Sunday. It's Sunday night. The hell cat away the first time. She gave me a free meal and she gave me six Supremes instead of five. Thank you, sir. I'll take care. I not seeing you. Yes, sir. You're too. You're too. All right. So uh, some of you guys might be wondering why the Mustang is still here. Uh, we, I was, I was waiting on a uh, a new SRS explosive device for the steering column, uh, but unfortunately we could not locate one uh, to replace it. So uh, Mike actually told me that my airbags can reset the one that's in here. So we are going to pull the steering column out and send the little the little bomb <laughs> we're gonna send the little bomb to them and let them reset it and then we'll get it back and it will be done so let's pull the steering column out i'm thinking probably need to park the car somewhere where we won't have to move it because i don't want to put the column back in i just want to take it out send it out when you it comes back in send the whole column out no i don't think so <laughs> Alright, look at that. Look at that. Got it all taped up, you know, that way you can cruising down the road, you don't ruin anything down down, down clock spring. There she is, right there. Oh, what are you gonna do? Just take them bolts out? I, right there? I, I, I guarantee you. Somebody needs to drop in the comment section what exactly this thing does, because I, I am like very skeptical as far as its necess as far as its necessity. Do not know. I usually I know everything, but in this case, I know nothing. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to re reinstall this plate right here and then we are going to stick some 3 ohm resistors into the wires and the airbag light will go off and Mike will never even know. Mike's going to be driving around thinking his car is all safe and uh, really it's not. Which all right. All right, so you're gonna launch this thing back in here? Yes, sir. So what are we doing about that piece? About what piece? Oh, uh, the explosive. Well, I had asked the guys what this thing was for, but Nate actually figured it out. Nate's pretty smart. Uh, so what this thing has is, if you look right there, that circular piece of metal, 
that is a pin. That pin sticks out about probably almost a quarter of an inch when this is not deployed. And what that does is it keeps the steering column from collapsing about four to five inches. So when that pin is up, the steering wheel does not move back and forth. The second you have an impact, this pin drops down and it unlocks the steering column, which forces the steering column, if you hit it hard enough, I'm guessing, uh, it will push it in like four to five inches. So that's like a pretty good bit. And uh, I'm guessing that's for like absorbing uh, a person's body against the steering wheel. You know, when the airbag pops out and you hit the airbag, uh, the column collapses. So everything is kind of absorbing all that energy, which is a really cool safety feature uh, that Ford has. And I think many other cars have this as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool, but we do need to replace it. So uh, I don't know, we found one on eBay. It's not exactly the same, is it? It's the exact same thing. Is it? Yeah. Huh. Mike was saying he couldn't find one. I guess he he was looking by part number or whatever. Okay, but anyways, I, I guess we're just gonna order it. Probably be better to just order it than to get it rebuilt because I don't even know if they can rebuild this. Yeah, probably not. I think what you do is you send in your column and they'll probably put a new one on there. Put a resistor in there more like it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll just order one and hopefully it, uh arrives soon so that we can get this car done and then uh that should be it for that particular car uh, but we are still waiting on parts for the bronco and three is that dtm motorworks the guys over there are looking it over trying to figure out what's wrong with it hopefully they'll be giving us a call here soon and telling us hey come pick this thing up you know it's running that would be very nice i'd be very happy about that uh, and then uh, dad is asking us to help him out on one of his cars that he has put on the rack as we speak. Let's go over there and look at what's going on. Uh, you know, it's funny. Y'all want to hear a funny story? When, uh, <laughs> when dad bought this car and he brought it down here, I was like, why? I was like, why did you buy it? Why? I asked him why like six times. And he's like, Psh, what? Easy, easy. And then today he said, how much y'all charge me? How much y'all charge me to do it? <laughs> I told him 25,000. That, that seems like a good price to me. I mean, that's probably three times what the car is worth, but you know, my time is worth a lot of money. So in the spirit of procrastinating, we have decided that we are going to do this job tomorrow simply because it's already almost two o'clock and I wanted to get this knocked out in one day. And it being so late in the day, and I'm not wanting to work late today, so I think what we can do, and what do you think about this idea, Nate? We take the newly, the newly repaired trailer that we have and load up a bunch of that scrap that needs to get gone and test the trailer out. Yeah, it'd be a good idea to test that thing out. And good, good thing I have already my hitch right here, conveniently placed, not planned, and uh, we're gonna go hook it up. Look at this, we've got airplane seats. We've got, hey look, Birdie's rim. We've got burnt M3 parts. I don't know if I want to scrap that. What do you think, Nate? Scrap it. That diff? You want yeah, me to scrap, scrap that diff? Scrap all do you that. see those heat sink fins on that thing? Yeah, man, scrap all that stuff. Come on, man, you're hurting me. You're killing me, Smalls. What about this? Scrap this? Scrap it all, man. Just scrap it, I don't know. Look, nothing even happened to it. It's fiberglass for you. Try to fix it now. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna load up the trailer, or we're gonna put the hitch on my truck, and then we're gonna bring the trailer over here. We're gonna move this car, we're gonna move Malone's car, which still happens to be here for reasons unbeknownst to me. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna get rid of all this crap. So what are we doing first? Move this one. about 
the fact that these tail lights are still good for his car, but I don't think they are. <laughs> Dang, how'd you get it in there so deep, Nate? All right. I made a little crack. Cesar's professional. Yo, that's gotta be the most genius thing I've ever seen in my life. Sparkling water. Okay, so we use the trailer and it works beautifully. We even straightened it out. We've got it like diagonal up and down good. So uh, very happy with how it turned out. Uh, now what we have left is a bunch of aluminum and a bunch of trash. And uh, it's kind of late already and Chuck asked me if I could come down there and show Tim how to strap down that Jeep because he said every time he tries to pull it, it keeps moving. So we're gonna run over there. We're going to show him how to do it. Yeah, I got that thing strapped. I turn around, strap it again, play with it. Oh look, you guys got AC out here. <laughs> I like that air conditioner. Strap it down, you want to always go crossways. So you always want to go across. Unless you're pulling it forward, then you want to go this way. It should make it should give you a, a bend point just here. I think it's crazy. I don't think it's absolutely crazy. Yeah, I think the track part. It's gonna get moldy. Mm -hmm. I just sprayed a mosquito. They're straight up breeding. There in this should thing. be a little hole at the bottom. Yep. This is where they're coming from. Yeah, I was gonna say this never had that many. Hey, not no more. It's like 50 skeeters in the truck. We, we, we're taking them with us to Ben's shop. <laughs> uh, no, but we did help. I help, I showed Tim how to strap the vehicle down. And uh, their issue with the frame machine is their tower only extends that much. Uh, it's not like Nico Brothers tower. Their tower goes straight up through the roof. Uh, but yeah, we're, it is a, oh shoot. Yeah. To School you. zone. Oh wait. Hey, I, I honestly, mosquitoes, they don't even bite me. You know, they look at me and they're like, uh-uh, no, no. That blood too rich, you know? It's an acquired taste, mate. I like it. He was explaining it to me the other day and I just, I, I wasn't, I wasn't getting, I wasn't picking up what he was putting down. But now that he hung it, I'm actually liking it. It's something different. It's something that nobody does. That's what I like about it. We extend it about that much. We can fit about a 12 and a half inch wheel under there. Almost 13 inch wheel instead of having, factory is like, factory, factory you like can put eight, like eight inch wheel. Eight inch max. I'm, I like it. 
At first, at first, I thought I wasn't gonna like it because Ben, he's just horrible at explaining things. But now that it's on there and I can visually inspect it, I'm actually liking it. And guess what? If you don't like it, you know what you can do? You can uh, go into your room, close the door, and cry about it. What made you come up with this idea? Like what, what inspired you to do this sort of wheel well? Oh, this has been like three years in the making. Three years in the making. Yeah, I bought my first wheel well in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need that old English wheel. You know, I got an English wheel. I got a Russian wheel. <laughs> I bet it can't do nothing. <laughs> it has to be some sort of different way to do it. Everybody makes the big bubble size or the the big, huge, like, whatever that is. And not a lot of, I've, I have seen this on a few cars, but they are so exclusive that you guys have probably never seen them because you're just not rich yeah. enough. I do have one other question though, as far as this goes. When you're gonna bring this down, mm -hmm. how are you going to, what is gonna happen here to this curvature? Is it gonna keep curving in no, or is it gonna no. flare out? It's gonna go like that right here. So it's going to come down and sort of subtly. Like that. Okay, and then there's right gonna be a diffuser. You see right there? Yeah. So it's gonna probably start, so right there. So this is gonna get, this is gonna get split open and moved out like, a, like that right there. You see about where that seven inch is right there? That's where it's gonna start forming down like that. Because this right here needs to be perfectly aligned with the bottom of that. We're probably gonna have to do a little more collaborating because this is all our work, you know? And I feel like I just don't have enough stress in my life. So I'm gonna have to help him out. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed the sneak peek of the wide body flares on Ben's Mustang. And that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, hit that like button. And uh, if you want, hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.